What we are saying loudly An erosion and clearly of trust. is enough is enough. What they're doing in there is not democracy. Your newsfeed is likely filled with a lot of politics, and it's hard not to feel that there are fundamental changes happening that raise questions for democracy in Canada. But your newsfeed is not science. We need a sober, fact-based analysis of this issue. Well, the SFU Morris J. Wash Center for Dialogue has set out to do exactly that. We surveyed a randomly selected and representative sample of 3,500 Canadians for their views on democracy and its institutions. The result, we believe, is a snapshot of the state of democracy in Canada. Here are some of our findings. To start, Canadians are committed to democracy. 77% of our respondents prefer democracy as a system of government. In fact, that's an increase of 12 points from just two years ago. That being said, there is much more skepticism about whether our democracy is actually working. Only 57% of Canadians believe the country is being governed democratically, and 61% believe that the government is favoring establishment interests over the interests of ordinary citizens. Where this gets really interesting is in the details. Canadian perspectives on democracy shift depending on location, language, and age, to name a few. In cities, 61% of urban Canadians felt that democracy was working, but in rural communities, only 45% shared that sentiment. Language played a role as well. 60% of English-speaking Canadians felt that their vote mattered, and 45% believed ordinary citizens could influence the government. But French-speaking Canadians were significantly less likely to share either of those beliefs. Age difference also proved to be interesting. Younger Canadians were generally the least skeptical about whether democracy was working or not. Older Canadians, while more skeptical about their democracy, were the most committed to it as a system of government. A key concern for democracy among respondents was disinformation. 77% believe the existence of fake news is a problem for democracy in Canada. 52% agree that disinformation has an impact on their confidence in government institutions. Our takeaway from this? While most Canadians support democracy as their preferred system of government, we shouldn't get too comfortable. We need to pay attention to what's driving dissatisfaction with our democracy so it can be addressed before existing cracks deepen.